Good morning, everyone. Oh, my shirt. There we go. Sorry, I'm having some issues. Just gonna wait for people to come on. It's been a while, guys. It's been a while. Also, the interface has changed. So, I haven't been on live in, I don't know, over two months, maybe? Two and a half months? So, bear with me, guys. I know the lighting is still not great. I'm still working on that. Um, ah, thanks for the hearts, guys. Hopefully, everybody had a good weekend. I had an okay weekend. I <laughs> I'll tell everybody a really funny story. So on the weekends, um, I work around the corner in a restaurant uh, for extra cash, and the New York City Marathon was going on on First Avenue. So um, I'm on York, so it goes your uh, for people that are not in New York, it goes New York first, second, and my job's on Second Avenue, um, and I was coming from New York, so I had to pass First Avenue. But by the time I got there, they already blocked it off. Hi guys, hi, hi from India. Thanks for joining. Uh, so once I got to First, First Avenue, the cops told me that I, I couldn't be able to cross. I had to go all the way down to 59th. Mind you, I was three minutes from the restaurant. Um, so I was having a mini argument with them. <laughs> so uh, what I did was I decided to jump the barrier and run across the marathon <laughs> to the other side. And when I did that, I pulled my back out. So I'm in... An immense amount of pain because of my uh, because I jumped the barrier. <laughs> so I could be better, uh, but I'm alive. The sun is shining, even though it's a little rainy today. Um, but I have all ten fingers and toes, and things are great. So I can't complain. And I'm also back. So let's talk about that. I have been doing some soul searching, as if you personally know me, I'm constantly doing that. Um, <laughs> so, uh, on this journey, I have really decided where I want to go, why I'm doing these lives, um, what I'm here to teach people, that type of thing. So, um, I don't know if anybody on here has tried to be a coach or seen the online coaching world, but... It's a little saturated and it's a little, something about it turned me off and I had a coach that I hired for a few months um, and I remember something she said to me. She said, you know, how, how are you supposed to, she said something about being like a high-end coach, like if you want to be a high-end coach. And then I realized to her, I don't want to be a high-end life coach. That's not what I want. I originally had gotten into this business. All right, so let me, okay, let me just keep going. I don't wanna kind of confuse anybody, but let me just let me just finish up, I guess. I got into this business and doing these lives because I wanted to help people. And I wanted to teach people what I taught myself and what I taught from other spiritual leaders that have helped me get off the floor who have helped me achieve emotional freedom. I want to be like the people that helped me heal myself. I want to be like that. Um, so whether you, uh, hi Tony, whether you call me a spiritual teacher, spiritual coach, intuitive coach, whatever it is, you know, I really took the time the last two months to think about what I really want to be doing and, and what I actually do. So, um, I'm going to, you know, start every live by explaining what I actually do so people don't get confused. But the last thing I want to do is be a high-end coach. I don't care if, obviously, I want to make money by what I'm doing so I can support my lifestyle and, and be able to help other people. But I also am not doing it for the money. And I'm also doing it because... I know that I'm a natural healer and I know that I was put on this earth to do more than wait tables and no offense to anybody that waits tables I've done it my whole life um, I like it I do um, I make a lot of money 
Um, but I know that I am here to do more things than that. And Facebook Lives are a way for me to get out there and show people that I am qualified to do that. I am here to help you. Um, and I care. And I do. And, you know, I had to write out what I actually do. Um, you know, I spent a lot of time in meditation. I, I spent a lot of time talking to friends, what I'm good at. And, you know, thinking about how I want to move my life to a place where um, it makes sense. And, and uh, you know, I want to wake up every day feeling passionate about what I do. And live a life that feels good to me. Just like everybody else. We all want the same thing. So, um... I, okay, so what do I do? I help people get spiritually connected, empower their intuition, and help heal themselves to create a life of emotional freedom. So the goal here is emotional freedom. And I think a lot of people don't really understand that it is possible. Um, you know, I was watching one of my favorite uh, spiritual teachers. Her name is Lisa A. Romano. If you haven't heard of her, I would look her up on YouTube. She has a lot of great videos, especially pertaining to empaths, codependents, uh, narcissistic relationships, um, but basically around emotional freedom. And she says a lot of people used to say to her, um, you know, life is hard, life is hard. On one end of the spectrum, life is suffering, right? Like, while so we're all spirits having a human experience so while we are on this earth things are going to be very hard we have death we have famine we have uh homelessness we have people killing other people i believe yesterday there was another shooting and another shooting this this is suffering this is suffering but what she's trying to say is people say you know life is hard but it's only hard because we make it hard, because we don't want to do the hard work to make it easy. Because actually, in life, everything is really simple. Things are simple. You know, a lot of people say, well, you know, um, you know, it's not that easy. Like, I have to stay with him. Like, if they're in abuse, an abusive relationship, I have to stay with them. Thanks, Jules. I know I did stuff with my hair. <laughs> That's also what I did in two months. Um... You know, just for an example, and trust me, I'm very compassionate to people in abusive relationships. I wasn't in an abusive relationship. If you told me to leave him, I would say, go fuck yourself. Um, but um, people are only ready to leave when, uh, people only leave relationships when they're ready to do it. Um, so you have to kind of let them walk their path. But anyway, um, life is simple, and I can help you get it down. I can help you simplify it. I can. Life is simple. Um, there's one real emotion that encompasses everything that's love uh everything else is um everything on the negative scale is false and um i know that seems a little out there or not practical um but i can work with you to get it practical right so we can break it down in your everyday life and, and we can kind of use examples and um from your from your everyday life to kind of break it down and, and make it simple and it's possible because i know it's possible because you know, and I'm not, like, I don't go on these lives to, like, kind of brag about my life or anything like that because I have been through the ringer. Let me tell you. <laughs> Sorry, my jacket is kind of messed up here. I have been through it, okay? I have been brought to my knees in a narcissistic relationship. I was arrested for a DWI about, this is all happening about four to five years ago. I have been at a pretty bad rock bottom. I've been there. And I could joyfully say that in four to five years I am at the happiest I've ever been and I've been doing that I'm there because I've been doing the work I did the work I did it's hard um you know I stopped drinking to really feel the emotions I was feeling because every time I felt something that was difficult I would drink alcohol um I cut that out um just little things like that and I am here to help you do the things in your everyday life where you know you the things that you do on an everyday basis are how you change your life for the better in general right so that's another thing too so I guess what I'm trying to say is there was a few reasons why I needed to take a break from lives and um that was one of them to kind of break down what I'm actually doing what my goals are what I actually can help you do why I'm doing this 
you know? And then a lot of people, you know how a lot of people say, like, get back down to your why? That's exactly what I had to do. Exactly. Why am I doing this? Why am I getting on Facebook Live? I hate going on video, guys. I hate it. I dread it. I think people judge me. I do. They probably do. <laughs> That's what we do. We're human, right? Even I judge. But I am just... I got back down to my why, really, and I realized why I'm doing this. Um, yeah, so I actually found out, too, that I had two limiting beliefs. So what's a limiting belief? A limiting belief is a thought and belief, obviously, that lives in the state of fear. So it's something that we believe that we, can, that, um, we cannot deal, um, just based on overall... Um, lack of worthiness, I guess, or low self-esteem, or whatever it is. So I found out my limiting beliefs about um, why I'm not, you know, succeeding at what I'm doing. And that first piece was clarity, but the other pieces were very interesting. And I'll go ahead and explain them. So I actually care what other people think more than I thought. Now, let me explain this. I thought that I just didn't care, um, okay, actually, let me start here, <laughs> sorry, guys, I have a lot of thoughts, like, I, I journal what I'm gonna say before the Facebook Live, but then, like, I get on, and then I'm, like, trying to go with the flow, and then, like, I have all these thoughts happening, so, like, if I'm not as organized as possible, sorry, but, um, I'm, I get, like, excited, and I just kind of want to talk, <laughs> but I'll explain. So, I was never a, to the, um, on the surface, I guess I'll say, I've never been a spiritual person, right? Um, there are parts of my life when I look back before my spiritual awakening and I notice I was praying at night um, unconsciously. Like, I'd be talking to somebody, but who was I talking to if I was such an atheist, right? Um, so, I think a lot of people in my life are just so used to that Justine that they get super uncomfortable with the new Justine when I talk about crystals and I talk about um, anything in that realm, really. It could be anything, Um they get really uncomfortable. And then, this is just me making a statement, right? Like, I'm making this judgment. I'm projecting it, right? I actually don't know if people are, Hi, Mark, from Austin. Cool, cool. Thanks for joining. I actually have no proof that people are judging me or um, are uncomfortable with how I am now. I'm actually, like I said, just projecting that because I feel that way, right? So anything that bothers you in another person is something that's reflected upon you that bothers you about you. Remember that, because that could really, really help you, especially in the emotional freedom um, part of your life. But I just, you know, all these thoughts, right? Who am I? I'm not even a therapist. I didn't even study psychology in, in, in college. Um, sometimes I get a little rowdy. How could she be a spiritual person? Like I just told you in the beginning of this live, I had an argument with the police officer yesterday. It happens. I'm human too. Um, what else did they say? Sometimes I curse. I think I just cursed on this live actually about 10 minutes ago. Sorry about that. But I mean, I just want to be real and that's how I, how I speak. Um, Jackie, hi. Oh my God. I miss you so much. Ah, coming to Australia. Definitely want to come to Australia. But anyway, um, so I am just projecting that everybody feels uncomfortable. But at the end of the day, you know, in the last two months, I actually got a cool hypnosis session, which really helped me out a lot. And my angels came to me and they told me, um, and they come to me all the time now. It's amazing. But they came to me and they told me, like, basically, like, what I already know. Who cares? Who cares if they're judging you? Number one, I don't know if they actually are. Number two, who cares? They're usually the people stuck in jobs that they hate. And they're usually the people that, like I said, 
people judge like whatever they don't like in another person they don't like in themselves so why am I worried about somebody saying something about me when they're probably really unhappy about in their own lives I want to build a life that feels good to me and feels good to me only what does it matter what other people care about and like it's really funny too because all I'm trying to do is help other people like I'm actually doing this for for good I'm not trying to you know I know there's a lot of stigma around this life coach thing and the only reason I really even call myself a coach is because I want to work one-on-one -on -one with people I feel like I'm really a spiritual teacher but that's besides the point is that I'm supposed to be perfect and I'm supposed to tell other people how they live their lives absolutely not that's not what I do you're not I help people realize a life that they want to live that feels good to them that's what I do. I don't tell anybody how to do shit. <laughs> Honestly, that's not what a co life coach is. So if you want to prejudge that, that's your problem, not mine. And that's really the conclusion I came to. Thanks to the angels. Thank God. Thank you for them. They're amazing. And if you really want to talk to your angels, we can talk about that too. And that's the other thing as well. I want to talk about that stuff. You know, I don't really consider myself a practical, logical person because I'm really a feelings type. I'm an empath. I'm an intuitive. I actually navigate my life with feelings. If something doesn't feel good, I don't do it. To the extent there are exceptions where I have to pay my bills, it doesn't feel good to pay my bills, but you know what I'm talking about. In intuition leads my life, and intuition is feelings-based. It's actually a direct channel um, from the divine, from the universe, whatever you want to call it. Um, so I'm a feelings person and that's it. You know, I know that what I'm doing is what I was born to do and I'm totally fine with that. Other people just have to be fine with it too. And if you're not, you know exactly how to unfriend me. If you don't resonate with me, totally fine. There are some spiritual leaders I don't resonate with, but if you do come follow me, if you don't, please unfollow me. That's it right? It's really as simple, right? What did I say earlier? Life is simple. And then the second thing that I realized that I had a limiting belief around, and this one has plagued me my entire life. And I'm still like, I still have to work on it every single day. I do meditations around it. I journal about it. It's insane. I, I, I really have some issues. <laughs> so that one is money, 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 money. <sighs> So, when I say money, I just, I, to be completely transparent with you, I have a limiting belief that I will run out of money. Like, I'm going to run out of money and be homeless. I don't know where that's from. I believe it's something related to past lives um, where I maybe was homeless and it really, really took a toll on me or I really was broke or I had a ton of money and I, I, I lost it, whatever the... Whatever the thing is, I'm not really sure, but I am constantly afraid and I do, and to create this life I want to create, I have to spend money and invest in myself and invest in my coaching and invest in my teaching and do things that are not going to provide money for me right away. And I think a lot of people have that issue and, um, you know, I don't think I'm alone in this, but, um, if I don't get past that and get through that, I'm never going to create the financial abundance that I actually want because um, the universe responds to my frugalness, basically. So the more frugal I am, the more frugal the universe is going to be with me. And let's just keep this in mind, guys. It's about balance. I don't need to go and purchase a yacht, right? Like there's absolutely no purpose or reasoning or for going, you know, it's not about big, go big or go home type of deal. But if I want to get back, I have to give back. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense to people. Because in reality, the truth is Money is an abundance. It is. And if you're resourceful like myself, and I believe everybody is resourceful, it's just about embracing it. Money will just flow to you. You know how to make money. And that's the thing. I have always known how to make money. I 
am resourceful. I don't know how else to say it. I am an entrepreneur at heart. I am will not settle for, I don't think I've ever had one job my entire life. Um, I just will not settle. I, I do not like borrowing money from people. I do not like um, relying on other people as far as that goes. And um, I just need to remember that the universe will reciprocate as long as I am freely in abundance with my, the money in my life. So hopefully that makes sense. And I, as you can see, guys, I've been busy. <laughs> I've been busy. So, um, yeah. And so after all of that, and it's something that I'm, I'm still working on, but I had major breakthroughs with, but still I, I'm, I'm still working on it, I guess is what I'm really trying to say. So Working on all of this for the last two months has brought me here today on this Facebook Live, and I really want to commit, and I know I've, been, I've said that before, um, but I would really like to be held accountable to do it every day, and um, I'm going to do it every day, and um, I'm going to keep my eye on the prize and realize why, you know, realizing my why, why I started doing this, and um really pushing aside what other people think about me because it doesn't matter in the end. Um, what does it matter? It just doesn't. It's just, it is really difficult. Um, and if anybody's going through this, I have to say it's really, really, it makes it really, really easier if you surround yourself with like-minded people in, in that space. It helps you feel less alone and it helps you feel like, um, you have people in, on your side, even though the people that you want on your side sometimes aren't always on your side, but um, the people that you want um, can be found in the like-minded um, group. So if you can, um, go to meetups, um, just kind of seek them out. Don't be afraid to make new friends as adults. I know it's like kind of weird um, as an adult, like how do you make friends? Uh, I am blessed to be in, a, in New York City where people are making new friends all the time. Uh, but I do understand that people do come from small towns and it's a little bit uh, more difficult. But um, I would say just keep putting yourself out there. And if somebody um, resonates with you, don't be afraid to reach out. If I resonate with you, reach out too. So, um, yeah. Um, I'm always looking for like-minded people. So, uh, all right. So that second limiting belief was um, tackling... Um, tackling my fears around what other people think. And that third one was um, my money issue that I'm constantly working on. And um, now that I feel a little bit more clear with everything, um, I definitely want to go forward full on. Um, I want to spread my knowledge. I want to help people. Um, I want to do this work. And that's all I want to do, really, when it comes down to it. So uh, I just want to say thank you, everybody, for joining on my live. If you want to... Um, speak with me um i can put my 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 link for my scheduler in the comments I, i'll do that that's what i'll do i'll put my um scheduling link in the comments if you want to get jump on the phone with me talk about how we can work together um that would be awesome or if you just want to talk and um you know just see if we're a good fit that's that's good as well um whatever you want to do so i'll drop the link in the comments and again i want to thank you guys for joining me Sorry if I talk too fast. I just realized I was probably talking like a mom per minute, but um, I'm a New Yorker. <laughs> so that's that. Okay, cool. Thank you so much for joining, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. I am going to rest my back. I am in a lot, a lot of pain. Um, but um, I will hopefully be on tomorrow. I'm going to try every day between 9 and 10. Um, I'm not exactly the most scheduled person, but I will make it happen if it's something that I really, really want. So I will see you guys the rest of the week. Bye.